Community Feedback. Welcome back to Community Feedback, where we look at your comments on the Element 14 community. Today we're going to look at what you have to say about the mini pinball kit. Let's see, what do we have here? All right, Trey says, here's a totally out of the box idea for a pinball, mm -hmm. two player pinball game. Oh cool, I saw something like that in the pinball area when we were at Bay Area Maker Faire. Okay. It was it was pretty homemade though, it wasn't electronic at all, it was just wood and rubber bands and yeah, stuff, but it was, link, looked really cool. This link that he gave us is someone's homebrew head-to-head uh, -head pinball machine. Oh yeah, made with the X-Carve, which is a tabletop CNC router, right? Yep. Yeah. It's neat, it already exists, there's at least three pinball machines I can think oh, really? of that do that. Yeah, there was a pinball machine based off the arcade game Joust. Okay. That was like that. It's mm -hmm. actually fairly rare. Then there's another one, it's called like Gatley Football Flipper. It's kind of like a football game, American football. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that idea does exist. Or maybe he's suggesting that we take like two of our mini pinball machines and butt them up head to head. That'd be fun. I don't know if we'll be able to do it for this one, but I think. Well, if you move the electronics down, it'd yeah. probably work. You'd probably have to smooth out the top, otherwise you'd have like, you know, a sharp thing. So it'd be like, Whoa! the balls would be jumping instead of like rolling. Yeah. Okay, Ricardo says, as to which features it should have, the ones I find indispensable are pop bumpers, slingshots, drop targets, spinners, and ramps. Habit trails would be cool as well, but I guess hard to put on a customizable machine. You could have two different kinds available for people to add to their machines though. And of course, blinking lights everywhere. Yes, very important, blinking lights and sound effects. We have worked on a couple of these, like we have a pop bumper coming, yeah. slingshots we don't have, drop targets we sort of have. We don't have any spinners, although that would actually be pretty easy to make. Maybe we should have done that. Ramps we're gonna do, and as far as habit trails, we were talking about using like um, thin rubber tubing yeah. and putting it into like little links so you could like use the rubber tubing to create almost like a roller coaster mm -hmm. and the ball can roll down that. So we'll probably work on that in a future episode. Yeah, so we could maybe have some laser cut braces for the tubing so then you could yep. get X number of braces to, yeah, that's a really cool idea. Yeah, that way you wouldn't have to bend metal, you could just, you know, attach uh, stiff rubber tubing to it. Ah, uh, here's a comment from a young whippersnapper born in the 90s. Oh. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, Anthony says, I was born in the 90s, so past the whole pinball era. I feel you, man. We played consoles when I grew up. Arcades with pinball machines didn't even cross our minds. Mm -hmm. I have played very, very few real pinball machines in my time. With that said, I am super excited to see and get my hands on this kit. For people okay. like me in my age range, I would suggest putting an emphasis on story mode. Make it really known to the player that they are progressing in some way by doing certain things on the table. Like record sound bites. Hit this over here or put the ball over there. Some pinball people hate that though. And the game's always telling them what to do. Oh. Or with the use of light up arrows. For people who have never had real pinball in their lifetime, it would help them acknowledge that there's an actual game to it and a story of how to progress. Well, thank you for that suggestion about story mode. I actually feel very strongly about that myself when I make pins. And yeah, I think there should be depth and character to them. If you have any more ideas, remember to post those on the various subspaces on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash TBHS. We'll see you in the next episode.